Hey guys, Cool Brick here with another Diagon Alley mock video. Um, this is down in my uh, Lego area. Did not bring this to my studio because in, I said earlier that I'm not gonna try and bring this huge hefty thing. And um, as you can see, I have some of this new building coming into shape. This is gonna be Green Dots Bank and um, for two reasons, I decided to make a video now. The first reason is that, um, one, this building is probably going to take forever to make. So I decided I would actually do some mini updates to uh, update you guys on this individual building. And um, the reason we're down here is because I can't even remove this. This whole thing is just, it's just attached to the base here. Um, and I also removed the bakery, which is just sitting right here um, So that we could actually get a good look at what I've done so far So as you can see the building is a triangle and Triangles are the least Lego shape ever even more so than circles because at least they have some circular pieces But there are no triangular pieces. You can kind of get away with triangles with um, some uh, wedge wedge plates and wedge bricks but it's really just not a shape that ever really comes up with lego so trying to do things um, in triangles was really a challenge and gringotts is one of those kind of triangular ish buildings and it's not going to be quite as round as i want but i'm glad that i actually was able to get the general shape down so i'll just kind of show you guys how i put this uh, frame ish part together so far so if i just step over here without crushing half my city. Um, so back here is uh, some, there are some arches back here, um, and some texturing, and then on the sides, we have more texturing. And uh, I'll also show you with a, another light, which I will have to go get. I'll show you a little cool thing about these arches, but um, for now, I'll just talk about the sides here and I'll talk about how I built this um, and I'll talk about the stairs so I'll also try and not shake the camera so much because I didn't bring my tripod um, so as for the sides you can see I did some snot building uh, down here and all this stuff is just attached on some large couple very large or long two by something plates and um, I just put some detailing on it because um, otherwise you get all this ugly space in here and I didn't want that to be something visible and so this was the solution that I came up with to prevent it and you can see there's some studs back there that will attach to the plates and so these just fit on here and the uh, slopes just overhang over these uh, plates and um, so that it doesn't you know just stick out randomly doesn't look too great in my opinion but I think it's ten times better than what the alternative was and I think I guess it turned out um, pretty decently also happy with uh, this corner right here that ended up being rounded off quite nicely um, and it all looks the same on the other side see it's not quite symmetrical from here to here uh, just lots of odd Lego lengths just everything is in the geometry is just strange trying to fill up all the cracks and everything it's just it was it is hard to get it all to work out um, as for the stairs um, well actually first I'll talk about how the floor is done so under the floor is actually just a big old hollow space and this is just a big sheet of plates that just sits right on top of all this space right here. And it just sits on these uh, little two by twos that stick out. And uh, and then it fits snugly against uh, these modified plates here with the tiles and it just fits right into place and meets up with where the stairs attach. Um, and as you can see, there's a little bit of space, but I really don't care because the fact that I made a floor that will actually fit quite snugly in here um, and it's triangular, I, I just, I didn't care. And 
Um, as for the openability of this, um, I'm not gonna make this as one of those buildings where you know you can peel off the floors layer by layer like the modulars because that's really just not an effective method for a triangular building because the sides and the walls are just not going to be that strong and I don't think that they can really withstand the beating that happens when people are constantly removing the floors because this, it doesn't have the structural integrity of a rectangle. So the way I decided I would counter this is just by putting a bunch of um, uh, modified plates that just have a, a few studs on them and then just having a really large wall back here that can just come off and you can just pull that off and then so this is going to be a two-story building and the two floors will actually be things that you can just grab I'll just put like a little handle here or something that you can grab and and you can just pull them out like shelves that will just fit right into the casing of this triangle and then to look in you just take off the back to look inside so um that's basically the gist of how I'm going to go about this just quickly talk about the stairs and then show you that little thing that I was mentioning earlier and then I think that'll be it for this update. So you can see the stairs kind of come off the building as like a separate entity. It doesn't look as good as I wanted. Um, it was really tough to get these columns to be all splayed out um, because in the movie that's how the building looks. It's not quite as symmetrical as it is here. It's definitely more rickety looking but I couldn't give up the splayed columns. It's just such a trademark of, of Gringotts because that's really the view that you get. You just see this this large front up here and you just have these awkward angles. And everything's all crooked. Um, so I definitely want to have these splayed columns and um, I think, I mean I could remove this but I think it might get kind of angry with me if I try to, oh there we go. Um, that was actually easier than I thought it would be. Um, so you can kind of see how it'll focus how I built this. If I just use my other hand, there we go, pull that down. You can sort of see how this is in here. And not only are the columns splayed out to the sides, but they also go backwards a little bit. So it really does look um, quite crooked. Um, and that's just kind of a little assembly hidden in there. And it was really tough to get it to, uh, oops, things are breaking off here because I'm only using one hand. It was tough to get everything to, to fit within the whole stair assembly, to actually have stairs come up around these, these weirdly shaped columns. It's definitely a difficult task. You can see they're four wide down here, but then they become three um, to accommodate for these columns. And, tried my best to cover up these holes but you just kind of get stuck with the holes a little bit you can kind of see more holes but um yeah so those are the stairs and now I will quickly show you guys the thing I was mentioning earlier that we need another light for okay so this is just regarding the arches you may have noticed that there were some bar pieces back here when I took off the floor. And I just have a little flashlight here to really shine light because otherwise you really just can't see what I'm talking about. And I know light looks kind of funny because cameras just do this, but you can see the bars behind the arches. And um, yeah, I was just kind of going for that sort of a dungeony look where you have the, the barred off arches way below the very bottom of a building to kind of represent some kind of lockdown basement or again, kind of a dungeon almost. Um, and I thought that was really cool. I had fun putting that together. It's a little annoying that you, you really need to be in some bright light to get to see these, but I'm glad that they're there. It's uh, just a nice little feature to know I'm included. So um, sorry that took a while and uh, definitely sorry for the shakiness, but um, yep, that's the, uh, Gringotts Bank so far. So as always, thanks a whole lot for watching and don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe.